Okay, here at Modapalooza. Look who I found, my daughter Faith. Hi, Faithy. Hey. Like you wore your spaceship shirt. And here we are. Nice big venue. You found spaceships already? Excuse me. Where? Alright, looks like we're going straight to the spaceships, but I wanted to pan around the whole place as we walked in. Show you how big the venue is this year. Awesome. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, this is, I brought my family. This is my wife. Hello. And this is my daughter. You've seen her before. <laughs> and here's my boy. <laughs> and she wants to start with the spaceship, so here we go. Hey Chris, look at this one. Does this look familiar? I had my daughter stand next to her so see how big it is. It's monstrous. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to get in tight on it so you can see here. Of course, I, I think you did a better paint job, Chris. But look inside here. This is awesome. Look at that. It's huge. It's probably about two feet across. I thought you'd like that anyway. Over here we had a Jawa crawler. Now look at the size of all these things. That one's, that's like two feet across right there. Jawa crawler is two and a half feet. And then over here we've got the uh, Battlestar, let's see, it's Galactica right here. Yeah. Just beautifully lit up. What did they do with the motors? Oh yeah, look at there. It's fantastic. Don't completely... Okay, so this one, of course. Tell you what, these sci-fi guys. I like college sports. And I model. I've got way too many things that are going on. I know, and that's the thing. One. And then the biggest one has got to be this Star Destroyer. It's just immense. It's got to be four feet. <laughs> Definitely not a kid. Just gigantic. And that's basically... Oh no, there's a lot more sci-fi way over there. Let's go over there. Look at all this stuff. Hey, Jimmy, look here. Mad Max. Good morning, gorgeous dust, angry green. I'm sure you'll do a better job of it, you. though. Come here. Angry green.
got Hal over there. That's a good model. And naturally, there are always tons and tons. Oh, hey, look. Quick announcement, there is a seminar going on right now in the Citrus Room. Okay, looky here, Atomic Dog. I think this is the bomber that you have. I think. Yeah, I think this is it, right? This is really big. This is probably two and a half feet across. Um, can kind of pan back for scale. But I think this is the one you have. It's interesting. Right, the production is having a 40% off on all resin. Okay. 40 off on all resin. The announcements are starting to bother me. Looks like maybe we had a... Maybe a child has decided to pick this up and play with it and broke the landing gear. So, anyway, there's the B-2 bomber. Look at these guys here. I don't know who that is. We know Wolverine. Hmm, that looks familiar. Oh, no, I have it wrong. Here, I thought this was the one Chris was building. Oh, this is a Jack Sparrow. Great idea here on the webbing on here. Looks like a dryer sheet. I'm not sure if that's coming through on the camera, but that's a great idea. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Great work here. Spock shooting a lizard creature. Okay, so basically here's a big overview of the whole show. And I can see that it's a little unfortunate that the tables are taking up only about a third of the room. Looks like uh, maybe two-thirds of the show is the vendor, vendors over there. Just found a few cars over here. This isn't in the car section. Um, oh, it's a junior section. Okay, so kids made these. They did a great job. I always wanted to do one of these uh, kind of sports exotics in a flat black. See somebody did an ecto over here in unusual colors. I'll get in tighter on the really nice ones that are way over there. So here we got some ships. This looks... I'm hoping there's a tag on that on the other side. Because I don't recall seeing that kit. Looks like about... Oh, the announcements again. Oh, no. And we're back. Yeah, the announcements are driving me crazy here today. But this looks like maybe about a 350th scale, and I don't know who makes it. But if you think that's big, look at the Missouri over here. This is crazy. I mean, does that look expensive? My goodness. I can only guess that is Trumpeter. It's either Trumpeter or Scratchbill. But that's huge. That is probably five feet long, Missouri. Amazing. Now here's something. I've, boy, you know, I've seen this kit out there. This is a wonderful kit. Somebody did a great job of it. Look at the painted all the window panes properly. Got the robot. And this was actually, I remember seeing this in one or two of the episodes. It's wonderful. Now I can get in really tight here. Look what they've did, done here. 
If you remember, the robot would shoot sparks. It's not doing it, oh no. They've, I think they've tried to emulate that. See that? Robot doing that. This is just great. I think I can get in there. Lost in Space Chariot by uh, Mobius, I think it was. I like that one. Look at this, guys. Trouble with tribbles. So, I mean, a good idea is a good idea. Look what they did. They have just packed the thing with tribbles. Control panels and everything. <laughs> Great idea. The, who was ever sitting here is completely gone. I think the Tribbles ate him. Wonderfully done. Great idea. Oh my gosh, I'm going to kill that guy. You're telling me that I'm going And you will, you will, because I've told that to a couple people before. Okay, guys, we finally made it to the car section. This is where I'll be staying for like an hour. Got about this many cars. So we should get started. We're going to start with this Ferrari. Okay, I think I'm going to kind of film everything from this angle. Uh, something that they were just, somebody was just complaining about is there's no manufacturers on the on the tags. But this is probably Ravel Germany. This may be AMT, it might be round two. This looks like... I'll do the best I can. Doesn't that look kind of like... the uh, 60 wagon? 60 Chevy? This appears to be the black, black rat. Wow. Some guys. I like the finish on that. Resident Evil. That was her second ride. We're going to be testing the camera out today. Let's see how close I can get on this stuff. I'm trying not to get right up next to them. To give you an idea, I am this far away. And moving on. Now here's here's some neat scratch building ideas. Somebody's got a great. I have a feeling these are all from the same person. Great scratch building here. Rollback. Now people are not doing enough rollbacks. Hazard County. Great idea. Even greater idea to put a halfway demolished. General Lee on the back. And we got a hearse. What do you think, Joe? <laughs> and some kind of uh, low rider crazy truck. And look at this. Believe it or not, guys, I think this is a kit. There was a six-wheel van kit. Look for it on eBay. I think that's what this is. Somebody's modified it a bit more to get it jacked up. 
I don't remember who made it. It was probably AMT. Great idea. All right, check out this truck. I think I've, I don't know the manufacturer, but I, I think I remember seeing this truck at, um, ooh, I can't remember the name of the place, but this is, the kit is like 60 something dollars. But sure, it looks good. 40 year old kit decals, and I was able to use them. Two coats of the decal maker. This area, boy, we got some great stuff here. Look at this. This is what appears to be a marlin. No? Yes? Yes? No? What is this? Charger? Oh no! The family's back. Hello. What'd you get? Oh, nice. Look what she did. She got. She bought something. Actually, the guy was so nice. nice, he gave it to us because she liked it so much. You know, we were going to be looking for a snap together for her so that she can build another one. And I've never seen that one. Excellent. You like it? It's the Corvette. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm filming this Riviera. I've got to tell everybody this is a great kit, and here's a good example of how good it can look. Fantastic. I have this kit, I recommend it. New Riviera says there. And in the foreground here, now I certainly like the convertibles, we have the Baritz. I think this is an Ari kit. A R I I. I think it is a 50. Oh, hope I don't say it wrong. I think it's a 53 um, Cadillac. I have this one as well, and it's nice to see one built. There's the Foose Charger. Beautifully done. Look at the uh, engine there. Wonderfully done. That's nice. Over here. Check this out, Chris. I know you like your LEDs. I think you did a police car, right? Did you actually make it do this? Great idea. Challenger. Great paint job. Now, okay. 31. <laughs> I almost said De Lodge, but it's De La Haye, right? Excellent orange. Look at the engine on that. Nice. We got some stock cars here. This one here, if you look at it, Some super modified. Yeah. But he did wood Picture of the real car. Got some exotics over here. R8. I got a Porsche Cayman, I think, or is it, uh, I think it is, what does it say there, Boxster, oh no, getting too close you start to see the flaws in the paint. And then here is something that my daughter might do. <laughs> Dying to get over here. Got to go around to the other side of the table to get to those. I think that's going to be my favorite one right there. Check out the detail. The, I mean, the decal work on these. 
Yeah, it comes fast. Because I know I, I, wow. like I said, I got the tank so I I'm slowly going to show the guy. This one here, wow. Certainly all custom decals here, I think. I have no idea the manufacturer of these um, models or if they're aftermarket decals or anything, but they are beautiful. Yeah, these you four. Know, Just beautiful. Here we go, guys. Check that out. A wheel cover on the back there. So it's unknown. Certainly can't pick it up. I don't know if there's a drag slick back there. Some great aftermarket decals. Wonderfully done. I know you guys like this one. Let's see how close I can get in on that motor. But uh, that's what I would go with Galbert, to the letter, or whatever his name, Dinar, or whatever his name is. He's only made a limited amount. And some guys are trying to shoot a one of those tracks. Two of them. Yeah, it's crazy, but. Yeah, I just, yeah, like I said, you know, I've been trying to get the Zimmer, the A tag. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Right? And I got a guy on Chicago that's carrying. Well, you know. I want to, but they didn't got a exactly Oh yeah, I mean, have you seen some of those postings? Well, you talk Holy about cow, now. Those guys are OCD. And this looks like here. Is it somebody oh, no, has he's used future? But they used a bundle of them. Look at this ice cream truck. <laughs> and it's another, the pearl, okay, okay you got some pearl paint here, but I don't know, you put it on too thick, put it on too thick. Yeah, he knows Dave Pearl. I got some of the, the resin stuff, some of them, but I'm not, overall it's pretty good though. Yeah, over here we got a Lotus Europa special. Very unique, very oh, weird looking car. This I think is a Callaway Corvette. Almost bought one of these just recently. Might be a Ford GT down here. Yeah, GT40. Bizarre doors. And a Ferrari 275. Oh boy. Anybody with a Ferrari passion, look at this. Oh yeah, look at there. Wonderful. And here we got another flat paint job on an exotic. This is something I've been wanting to do. This is flat purple. I like that. I think I'd be happier with flat black, but flat purple I've never seen. And we got a Dragula, Dragula, Drag, Dragular. Done modestly well. We got a 1940 Batmobile. What do you think? Scratch belt? Definitely modified. And a lot more. Okay, here we go, guys. We're getting serious now. Look at this. This is a Tamiya Mercedes CLK GTR. Done very well. Very, very well. They're kind of an expensive kit. I see these for about 45 So if you buy one, you got to make sure you're a good builder and don't blow it. Like this guy did. He did a great job. And then we got the classic F40. If you're a Ferrari enthusiast like me, you love this car. Then a Porsche 962 over here. I do want to do the want a, a kit like this. 
Beautifully done. And we got the Hudson. So uh, convertible. Done very well. You get in tight on the engine since it's right here. All right, more of the same, another GT40. Although this looks quite a bit more modern. Not a GT40, it's just the Ford GT. Yeah, Ford GT. Very well done. Look at these, all of these are very well done. And over here you got large scale. This is the 112 scale. It doesn't say it on the tag, but I'm positive this is the Tamiya 112 scale Porsche 934. Pretty darn sure. These things look great when, you know, it's great as a race car, but these things look fantastic when they do them up as a street car. And here's my daughter again. Hi, she's got the spaceship shirt. Oh no. Oh no. They're getting these giveaways. People are giving them. No, See, we, we bought that one for five dollars. Five bucks? You like that one? Oh, it's a Chevron car. It's a Chevron car. What a great idea! We're here on um, the last day of this event, so we're getting bargains. People don't want to. The people, the vendors over there, they gave her a kit, and then they gave her gave him this for five bucks. Great deal. Can't wait to get over there. Anyway, <laughs> good deal. Uh -huh. Okay, so here we have more of the 112 scale. This is, looking at the yellowing, I have a feeling that these have been sitting around for a while. These might even be originals. I think these are Tamiya's. 112 scale uh, Formula One. And I don't know much about them, so I'm just kind of walking down the line filming them. But we do have some incredible detail here. This appears to be old work. I think these are I think these are antiques. But they were well done way back when. Okay, so here we go. I think this is going to be my favorite section right here. The um, builders seem to put all their stuff in one section. Whoever you are, I hope you're watching this because you have my attention. What we've got here is a 32 Phaeton. Wonderfully done. I would like to see it with the hood on. <laughs> I'm tempted. You can't touch anything at these shows. I don't know if you guys knew that. <laughs> but here's a monkey mobile with the top off. And if I built the monkey mobile, I would definitely leave the top off. No question about it. Wonderfully done. Guitar back there. Now here, they're saying Corvette concept. And I'm a little embarrassed. I don't know, oh, is this the Stingray 3? All it says is Corvette Concept from 89. Help me out, guys. I don't know what this is, but in the vendor area, I'm going to be looking for this. I'm actually looking for a pot. There goes the announcements again. Anyway, back to this. I'm going to be looking for this over in the vendor area. I'm looking for a Pontiac Banshee today as well. Hope I can find it. This, believe it or not, is a snap together. If you remember, my daughter Faith built this one. That's pretty much the way it builds. You don't have to paint it. And then look over here. Somebody is building, or somebody built the Digger Cuda. And look at the paint job. Look at that. I got to get this at the right angle. Right about there. Look at that paint job. How did you do that? All right, I'm gonna risk getting a little close. Look at that. Look at that paint job. 
How on earth did he do that? It's completely smooth. It's completely sparkly, and I didn't think you could polish sparkles, but I'm catching it in the light here so to show you guys. I want my Digger Cuda to look like that. I mean, it does, but it's just bright yellow. I'd like to know what kind of paint he used. It doesn't say. But it looks like he used the two part wheels that came in the kit, and I'm going to be replacing them with uh, aftermarket. But it is exciting to see this done. And I didn't, end I'm not looking forward to this, cutting this decal long ways. See how that's going to have to be done? I was just looking at how I was going to do that. And I see that that has to be done. But that's... Whoever you are, dude, I'm amazed. Great job. I'm just going to film these from long distance. I think... Oh, maybe I should be closer to those. I don't know what trucks these are. I'm just filming them. Oh, that's that big Ravel city bus. Oh, and there's a look at the back of that six-wheeled van. Awesome. Okay, and now the rest of it, I'm afraid I'm just not into armor. I'll film it, but I'm going to kind of film it fast. I'm just going to kind of walk down here and show what I can show on this nice missile launcher. This is kind of an amazing looking bulldozer. Look at that. And you military modelers that are saying slow down and look at something, I don't know what I'm looking at anyway, so I'm sorry, I'm just sorry. I know they're tanks. Okay, well, there's some crazy impressive detail over there. I wish I was on that side so I could read the tag. Some kind of support vehicle. The winch. This must be... Uh, uh, I should go all the way over there and find out. And that's it for the tanks. Tanks for watching. Okay, same thing here. I'm, I like airplanes, but I'm not good at building them. It's like an Antonov 124. I have to go around the other side for that one. We've got some amazing metalizer work here. Get the shine. Osprey. Very large scale Apache. We've got two F4s up here. Nicely displayed. Some F16 down here. Very impressive paint. 
I try to get in a little closer because somebody has done a great job, great job on paint here. I already dipped in the small scale. The last one just I can hardly see these now. Yeah. <laughs> Even with your magnifiers? <laughs> hmm. Let's see, did they do any detail inside the cargo bay? Ooh, I'll try my best to get in there. Let's see what I can do. Maybe? I think so. Great looking model. I don't know who makes it. I had a big scale here. I don't know what's a 124th scale airplane. Wow. I mean, this is huge. That's got to be, I don't know what the wingspan is on. it got to be a foot and a half. And then, wow, some of them are better than others, aren't they? Look at this. Look at that. B-36. Neat display, huh? It's half a plane, and they put the other wing over there. They must have actually built the other wing somewhere, and they left it at home. I don't know if it's Alclad or if it's foil. Looks like it's foil. A bunch of foil. Maybe foil and Alclad, because they went around a curve there. Very well done. And to finish off here, I just had to come back to this one, this DC-3. This metal work is outstanding. Very authentic. Looks outstanding. Yeah, this angle isn't doing it justice. I gotta look straight down. If I can do this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at this guy. Just amazing. Anyway, that wraps it up for the tables. So now it's time to go shopping and find my family. Okay, so if anybody's wondering what we bought, I think the last scene was me saying I was going shopping, and I certainly did. This is what we came home with. And we ran into some really nice sellers there. I'll explain. Now I went there wanting two kits. And as you see we came home with ten. And that's just one of those things that happens. But I was after this kit and this kit. And all the rest of them were kind of a bonus. Um, now down here these there's five NASCARs there and one Shazoom. If anybody has ever seen that one, the tester is Shazoom. That's the quick builder version, so it's not the detailed one, but it will have that body on there, and you can put that on anything. Really anxious to... I've never had that kit. But then all the rest of these NASCARs, 
like basically what's in the frame right now, everything that came in this box here, was um, he he said fifteen dollars for it all, and I believe my wife had given him twenty because the same guy was so generous. Uh, my little girl was over there, and he just gave her this snap together. And this was before I even came over there. I was still filming the models, the um, display models. And she came back and said some guy had just given, one of the vendors had given my daughter this kit. And so, of course I was going to go back and buy some cars. And so I bought all of these. And I was ecstatic to get it because, um, I mean, they're marked five bucks, but when you buy... Oh, six of them for twenty dollars. What is twenty divided by six? It's less than five. So couldn't pass that up. Got the banshee. These are sealed. Got the banshee for twenty. Happy to get that. Now they had the. If you saw earlier, the uh, kind of uh, concept-looking Corvette turned out to be the Corvette Indy, and he had that one as well. But it looks so much like the banshee that I decided to leave it there. But I got the Banshee. Now this is a very, very cool kit. I'll, I'll, mm, I'll try to show like an inbox review on that some point to show you how cool that is. And the T-Ranchula, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that one. Very, very cool motor on that one. But now this one, I wasn't going to buy that um, because I had the... Now this, because it's AMT. Now, um... Of course, if you look at my um, icon up there, my avatar, that's the Ravel uh, dune buggy. Now, this is the AMT dune buggy. It's different. It's definitely different. Different. Not the same molds at all. But the guy talked me into it. I was talking about the dune buggy, the Ravel dune buggy, and he brought this up, and I was going to pass. But as it turns out, you see that back there? That hamburger stand? That's in the box. It's cardboard. Um, but it's it's in there, and of course I like that for the uh, backdrops and the dioramas, or in my case. Uh, plus you can park cars up against it, whatever. And I was sold. I took it. So that was that was twenty also. But then this one here. Anybody rec recognize these Chevron cars? I don't remember what they paid for that. I know it was some kind of great bargain. They got that before I even got over to the vendor area. Really didn't expect them to be shopping. And then this one, it's marked five ninety nine. I believe that's what they paid. Got to see what this is. This is really pretty neat. See how close I can get there. This is all photo etched. I'm looking forward to doing this. Uh, I'm going to be very delicate to put together for sure. But um, yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. That's what they look like. It's a make a dragonfly. Some other things you can build there. Surprisingly, no car. But that's going to be fun, for sure. And some pliers. My wife, she, she bought those for me before I even got over there. Because she could tell I was going to need to use this for this. And so that was great. And so we got in and out of there for a pretty good price for this much stuff. And uh, that was Model Palooza 2014. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching this far. And uh, I hope to go again next year, but I usually go about every three years. Anyway, that'll do it. Have a good one. Bye. Oh, my little girl wants to say bye. <laughs> That's my atomic pup. <laughs> bye bye.